Hi there. Uh, so it's pretty warm out. It's 28 degrees. It's humid. It has been more humid. Uh, got some locals passing by. But uh, the reason I'm not wearing a jacket is because most of the time you've seen me, I've been in places with AC. And today I'm going to be outdoors quite a lot. And it's going to get a lot heavier. Uh, there's always rain in Manila. This uh, reminds me of how I suppose. But uh, yeah, we're going to go on a bit of an adventure. So we're looking at the ruins of the American barracks here at Fort Santiago. We'll see the more famous part of the fort just in a second. But uh, as you could probably tell from those few seconds before, the weather here, when it hits, it hits. So um, yeah, like, I mean, you can even hear it now, like the rustling, but like we've had a couple of really flash ones. I'm getting soaked here. I'm gonna hide back under the barracks in a second. But the bizarre part is this is like, you know, it comes and goes so fast. Like you just don't expect the pace of it at all. So that's the weather. That's Fort Santiago, which we're going into now. It was built in the 16th century. Its history is substantial, a lot of it grim, and uh, you know, some some bad stuff happened here. Uh, is the best way of putting it. Think colonization, think World War II, and think people coming in here and not being nice to the locals. But it's la but it's uh, still you know got a lasting impact, and it tells us a lot about the history of this city and what it's been through. So just got an alert on my phone there for a tropical cyclone. I haven't got one of those before, i got to say. Uh, looking at the map, we are literally hundreds of kilometers away from where it should be an issue. But obviously, be smart, be sensible. But yeah, just, you know, standard Emmett Ryan on holiday. It's easing off a bit now, so I figured to take a look in the fort proper. As you can see, it's very pretty, very well looked after. And obviously, substantial colonial vibes here. Uh, this is a pretty solemn place, and I'm just going to say this briefly. This is the White Cross. It's a memorial to those who were, well, whose remains, I suppose, were found here by the U.S. Liberation Troops at the end of the war during the liberation of Manila. And yeah, just um, doffed the hat there and said a small prayer. I'm actually recording this just from my mate Greg. We're just going to spin around here. All of these models, Lego. These are all Lego. Kind of cool. Gotta appreciate that. And in case you hadn't already guessed, like this is a city where the old and new clashes. So we're here, basically as hype in the fort as we can. See somebody there traveling along the water. But uh, you can see like this constant construction going on. Old is hitting new, and rain is hitting me, and I'm getting back into some cover. So this building here is to commemorate Dr. Uh, Jose Rizal. Now, as you can guess, it looks a bit newer than the rest. It was destroyed during the war, uh, rebuilt. But uh, Dr. Rizal um, was a famous martyr for the Filipino people. And uh, they sort of erected this. And around the city, I haven't found any even yet, there are steps embedded in the pavement, sort of to mark his last walk of martyrdom. So this right here is the Manila Cathedral, which if you haven't guessed, is a historical site and a cathedral in Manila. But uh, worth noting, the last non-Filipino Archbishop was uh, Archbishop O'Doherty from Charlestown County, Mayo. Uh, he uh, finished his term in 1949. He served here during the occupation years and the post-war years. And yeah, so uh, did a lot apparently to help out the locals during this, to help them sort of, you know, basically be tended to the needy and stuff and uh, risked his own life a few times. And yeah, that's the cathedral. The San Augustine Church. And the reason we're stopping here is it is the oldest stone church in the whole of the Philippines. Uh, there's a quite a bit of history here, uh, well over 400 years old I believe. And uh, around 400 years old anyway at least, maybe not well over. But uh, quite an apt place to stop because, uh, well, got a bit of history today. You've seen the old Manila. It is really extraordinary. The buildings just over there were 450 years old. Right behind me, this new Manila that's being built. The city that continues to grow, continues to develop, continues to find its own identity, obviously. And we haven't seen the last of it. But if you want to see how I got here, check out the video that should be somewhere around here. And I'll catch you back at the arena.